Because of its size, cargo and geographical circumstances, a vessel may pose a threat to the environment or the economy. In that case, local law can require an escort tug. During these escort procedures, multiple tasks can be demanded from the tugs to maximize safety. The working principles of an 80-ton stern drive tug and an 80-ton rotor tug differ substantially. The difference between a rotor tug and a stern drive is immediately visible when the tug is required to apply braking force on a vessel sailing at 10 knots. This maneuver is called the transverse arrest. At a towline angle of 0 degrees, the stern drive is capable of delivering 80 tons of braking power. The rotor tug with its three maneuverable thrusters can deliver 95 tons of braking power. The rotor tug has significant advantages from its patented configuration. It can apply both steering and braking forces onto the escorted tanker at the same time. While using indirect escorting with a towing line angle of 15 degrees, the rotor tug simultaneously delivers 106 tons of braking power and 30 tons of steering power in the desired direction. The stern drive tug delivers 100 tons of braking force and a maximum of 10 ton steering force while indirect towing on an 8 degree towing line angle. Changing this angle will result in a drastic change of applied forces. In case of an emergency, the stern drive tug needs to make a choice to either brake or steer. But there's another issue that may cause a possible safety threat. A stern drive tug in maximum braking position has a healing angle of approximately 12 and a half degrees. This means that it is at the turning point of deck immersion, which may lead to a significant loss of stability. In comparison, the rotor tug will only have a healing angle of approximately 8 degrees in maximum braking position. At a 45 degrees towline angle, a stern drive can apply 50 tons of braking force and a steering force of 40 tons at the towline. In this position, the healing angle is 12 and a half degrees of the stern drive, which is again close to deck immersion. A rotor tug can deliver 100 tons of braking force and 56 tons of steering force while operating under a 30-degree towing line angle. The healing angle of the rotor tug in this position is again approximately 8 degrees. The configuration of the three thrusters enables a fast reaction time in case of emergencies. The rotor tug can maneuver itself using the thruster closest to its towing point. A stern drive tug has its thrusters at the opposite side of the towing point making changing position a more time-consuming task. The 80-ton stern drive reaches the highest steering forces operating at a 90-degree towing line angle where it can apply 52 tons of steering power only. No braking force can be delivered onto the escorted vessel in this position. The stern drive tug needs its thrusters to counteract the capsizing moment created at this tow line angle. When this counter effect suddenly disappears, the healing angle may bring the tug in danger of capsizing. Reaction time to position the stern drive tug in a maximum steering position is time consuming. The 80 tons rotor tug can swiftly reposition to a 40 degree towing line angle where it applies 67 tons of steering force while still being able to apply the substantial braking force of 85 tons. Because of its unique position called combined arrest, the tugboat creates a very safe escort situation with a healing angle of approximately 4 degrees only. The rotor tug is in full control of the assisted vessel within 15 till 40 degrees towline angle, resulting in braking and steering at the same time, minimizing emergency response time. There is never slack in the towline. A slack towline can result in peak forces once sudden forces are applied. The rotor tug not only has excellent escort capabilities, it also has significant advantages while performing ship handling operations. A stern drive needs to reposition itself before being able to apply forces on the tow line. She will exceed the width of the tanker during the berthing operation. For berthing a tanker, a connected stern drive tug needs a second vessel to apply sideway force at low speed. Therefore, a tanker or bulk carrier is often berthed with four tugs using the push-pull system. A rotor tug can apply indirect force to the towing line at 65 tons at zero speed, making any second tugboat unnecessary. 
This unique maneuver is called rotoring and is in fact pushing into the tow line when berthing the vessel. She is capable of indirect pushing and pulling upon request of the pilot, ensuring minimum response time. During this maneuver, the rotor tug will remain within the width of the vessel. The rotor tug can swiftly change its position and apply force to the towing line at all times and in any position. Rotor tugs minimize vector response times, offering maximum control even in more severe weather conditions. No pushing in the side of the tanker is required anymore and therefore there is no danger of damaging the hull of the assisted vessel. When pilots want the rotor tug to push anyway, the risk of ventilation is minimized due to the different positions of the thrusters. Ship handling duties can be performed with two tugs only most of the times, yet another advantage. Rotor Tug designed for the future.